Hi guys, we are here today to discuss sterile blood cultures. I know that obtaining sterile blood cultures in the emergency department is quite difficult, but it's actually very important because it decreases contamination rates and actually decreases money spent by the department and by the patient. We also don't want the patient being put on antibiotics if they aren't necessary. So it's really important that we do this the correct way. So I'm here today to discuss the kit and go over the procedure. In 2009, we did a study when our contamination rates for blood cultures were really high and developed this kit. And by using this kit and discussing the proper procedure, we were actually able to decrease our contamination rates by about half. We've noticed in the past few months that our rates have been steadily increasing. So we have decided to bring this back and go over it just so we can get our rates down again. So I'm gonna go over the proper procedure for how to do a sterile blood culture. So you're going to come into your patient's room. You will have already foamed your hands at that time. You are going to obtain and put on a set of regular gloves. You're gonna obtain your patient. You're going to open your kit. Gonna put on the tourniquet. Make a fist for me a couple times. You're then going to prep with the cooler prep the vein. You want to make sure that you're going from the inside out. You're then going to take your alcohol prep pads and pop off the caps that are on the top of the bottles. You're going to clean the top of the bottles. You're going to open up the kit. The inside of this is sterile, so you wanna make sure that you're not touching the inside with your regular gloves. You want to take off your regular gloves and you want to perform hand hygiene, perform hand hygiene, perform hand hygiene, perform hand hygiene. So you're going to put on your sterile gloves using proper technique. Once you are sterile, you can actually repalpate the vein because the area is cleansed and sterile. You're going to take your drape, your drape is sterile, you're going to put this over the area you want to target. You're going to open your sterile vacutainer. And you can actually do this one of two ways. Some people want to use the vacutainer to stick onto the bottles, you can do that. Or you can actually remove the vacutainer right there and put the syringe on instead. So now, like I said, you could repalpate your vein if you can't decide where it is. And then you're going to stick. One, two, three, big stick. Once you get a flash, as seen there, you're going to take the alcohol prep pads off of your bottles and obtain your samples. You want to get about 8 to 10 mils in each of the sample tubes. And then you want to lightly shake them and them down. And you're all done. So you will pull out the needle as you normally do. If you ever forget how to do, or the order of doing things, you can, in the bottom of each of the kit, there's actually instructions for blood culture using the sterile kit. So if you have any questions, please refer to this or ask one of your health partners or the CSL or RSL on duty. Thanks guys.